All right, shalom, shalom, Boaz here. Well, it's a beautiful first day here on the land. And, you know, I've been uh, keeping up with current events because, you know, you know, being out in the country, uh, it's a quiet life. And we get to see the contrast between peace and chaos. Being uh, peace, being, uh, you know, uh, living on the land and, and being a part of a greater community um, as opposed to the chaos that happens out there uh, in these cities and, uh, you know, how people flow, how people do. And it, it truly does amaze me. But uh, I wear several hats. Um, I am a father. Uh, I'm a self-employed business owner. Um, I'm a shepherd. Uh, I'm a gardener. I'm a husband. Father, all of those things. I, I wear all of those hats. And with those hats come responsibility. And when it comes to those responsibilities, uh, this is where I learned it from. I learned it from the King James Version of the Bible. And what I attempt to do is I attempt to, uh, uh, as I go on in this walk, uh, apply those principles that I found um to be very wise, to be very informative, uh, to apply them to my life, and 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 you know when you apply the word to your life, uh, whether economically, socially, spiritually, um, relationship wise, it's always going to be a fruit. It's it's always going to give you an increase, because just that's just what the word does. It gives you an increase when you are able to look at it and apply. And, you know, it, it, it brings me to what's going on and in society today and the vast contrast that we see uh, when it comes to uh, how we should raise our children, how um, our women should behave and act, um, and what we see going on uh, in society today. You know, I come from a time where, you know, early 90s, where I think all of this transition was taking place to... Uh, lewdness and debauchery from when it came from uh, Fit Foxy Brown and Little Kim um, and uh, Mary J and then going on up in the you know uh, the gorillas and the, and the Sukihanas that we have today I mean you could just see the difference uh, but we see uh, amongst our sisters in this Kylie uh, 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 disappearance thing this hoax as that the vast differences in what beauty is. I mean, you have two different pictures of this woman um, on social media. They're the same person, but one, she has a whole bunch of makeup and weave, and, 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 and then the other one, she doesn't. She just has cornrows and braids in the back of, to the back of her hair. And it looks like two totally different people. This is the height and breadth of witchcraft. And it's sad to say, it's sad to say, that I'd say I'm near damn near venture, 95 to 98 percent of the so-called Hebrew women in this day and age, the black women in this day and age, wear this stuff. You can see them. I, there's very few sisters that I know that look just natural out of one of my natural or spiritual or Hebraic family. It's sad. And so when we see all of these, uh, you know, and there was an article. That this man was reading about the hairstylist pers perspective on when this woman went missing and you should hear the quotes that these hairstylists were saying that you know these 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 wigs run anywhere from two to an eight hundred dollars that um a black woman would never leave her wig behind um, that uh, uh, one of the three top things that a, a black woman, uh, these are the black hairstylists saying this. Um, you don't mess around with her, 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 her children, her money, and her weave. I, I, you can't make this stuff up. And this is why it's so important to apply this word. Because, see, our sisters are naturally beautiful. And why do I take this so seriously? Why do I harp on this kind of stuff because I have not one but two but three daughters this is my eldest daughter right here and 
she's going to know what beauty is. She's going to know what sanctification is. She's going to know what holiness is. Is because she's in an environment where her mother and her father are in order. I've said over and over again that when I go out uh, or when my wife goes out and our children go out, uh, damn then 90% of the time we get compliments. We get compliments on, uh, on how unified we look, how holy we look, uh, how clean and well-mannered my children are. Um, and where'd they learn that from? Where'd they learn that from? Um, it's going to be times like this with my daughter, cause she knows, um, all the time, uh, that she's a beautiful, she's a naturally beautiful young daughter of Zion. I mean, all my daughters are beautiful young daughters of Zion. And I want to teach them, um, how to be a 10 plus, uh, and because see, uh, Women with natural beauty and with a clean, a meek and quiet spirit, I'm telling you, that is such a beautiful woman. See, uh, although, uh, uh, you know, everybody has a high lofty opinion of their daughters, but I genuinely believe that my daughter is some naturally beautiful young girl. I just, I just believe that many may not believe that that's okay. Um, uh, but I know beauty when I see it, um, Can I be off? Of course. It is possible. But I'm going to teach my daughters how to have a meek and quiet spirit, how to be a Proverbs 31 woman, so that when they go into marriage, they don't have to be concerned with um, uh, anything else other than being a help me to their husbands. You see? This is what they've been taught. They're not being taught. Because, see, this book doesn't teach me to prepare them for college. It doesn't teach me uh, how to prepare them for, 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 for a job. No, it don't it, this, this book don't talk about preparing this young lady for a job. It talks about preparing her to be a wife to a husband. Now you may not believe me. You may you may not you may disagree with me. You may uh, uh, practice uh, a sense where uh, you know that was the old time and and this is the new modern world. But look at the new modern world. What do we got? Whores run amok. You can't find a woman today. It's sad. It's very rare to see a woman that has a head wrapped. That is, uh, uh, has a meek and quiet spirit that knows how to dress modestly. Don't need to wear any makeup or fake hair and looks naturally beautiful. It's a shame. It really is a shame. And, and, and I know why a lot of men don't speak up on it because it, it seems it's like, and it's the truth. Th this is all that's available. And so why not offend one of these women because that's all that's available. See, that's exactly what's going on. That's exactly what's going on. And it's sad. Um, it's, it's a blessing to be a part of the solution. And the solution is teach your daughters how to have a meek and quiet spirit, how to be honorable and respectful, feeding good, clean food, make sure they're drinking good, clean water, dress them and teach them modestly, bring them up in a home that, that personifies order and strength and love and understanding. See, that's the solution right there because the sad truth is that shit, you know, outside of the, receiving a genuine baptism of the Holy Spirit, they're all gone. They are finished in this world. Hey, um, it's a sad deal, but you know, uh, you know, as for me and my house, oh, we're gonna, we're gonna do this. And, and because see, she's going from my house to her husband's house. She's not going anywhere else. Not under my rule. This is where 
my wife and I is of one mind and one spirit. Because, see, we see what's going on out there in that world. We see the debauchery of what's going on. And it's just sad. You need to read this article that they were talking about this, 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 this hoax, this disappearance. With the barbers and with the with the hairstylists and the, the, the salon experts were saying about how black women view their weaves. Because, see, a, a weave or a makeup is not who you are. It's not who you are. It's something that personifies or accentuates or, or enhances beauty. But I say only you, and it's my uh, 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 personal opinion, uh, and I believe that it is backed up by the word, that our daughters of Zion are one of the most beautiful, naturally uh, uh, creations that Yada never created. I firmly believe that. Hey, you can disagree, but as for me and my house, we're gonna we're gonna raise young daughters of Zion, where. They can go without spot, wrinkle, or blemish into their husband's houses and be a, a benefit, an increase, an asset, a help meet to their husbands. But it starts with us men. It starts with us families. Only a remnant doing this. Only a remnant.